as I said, it's just a, a sweat dome, just sweat cage. Hi guys, my name's Andrea and welcome to Barbie Punk. Today I have a shoe haul for you guys from a couple different places. If you are new here, I make videos on alternative fashion. Sometimes we like to do some kawaii, sometimes some goth, punk, blah, blah, blah. We mix and match. We have fun just being our own little weirdo selves. So please join my weirdo family and subscribe. Let's just get into the haul, shall we? We're gonna start with Why Are You? Youth Rise Up, I believe is what Why Are You stands for. Um, it's one of my favorite shoe brands. I have a couple different pairs of shoes from YRU. My absolute favorite like reflective ones are from there. I have some pink platforms. It's good stuff and also they have a lot of good sales. I will hardly ever recommend that you like join the mailing list for a website because like you can always go and find coupons. But I am on YRU's mailing list and they have sales so often it ranges from like 45 to like 55 percent off so i will never ever in my life buy a pair of why are you shoes that are full price <laughs> unless it's like gonna sell out if i don't buy it right now which hardly ever happens though i am still searching for those nice guy cosmos but basically they were having a clearance and then a 50 or 55 percent off of clearance so one of the brands under the why are you umbrella is cute to the core and i bought these america shoes these are just like american flag shoes pretty much little flat sneaker kind of things we have some blue with stars right on the toe area the middle part of the shoe is red and white stripes and the heel of the shoe is that same blue with white stars. It's just some easy to throw on, cute little shoes. I feel like I got these for like 10 or $15 with all the sales going on. I'm gonna wear them for the 4th of July and probably just out and about around, so I thought that these were cute. You can tell that they're the same company because these ones say, why are you? And these ones say cute to the core, but they're the exact same design. So we also have these beauties, these are some little pastel flats, sneakers, dudes. Um, so they are color blocked. We have a pastel blue on the toe, pastel pink in the middle, and another pastel blue on the back. The piping on this is yellow, and then kind of a darker pink along where the shoe hole is. The laces are that same powder blue. I think that they're adorable. They go with a lot of my kawaii looks. Very casual. They just make an outfit like instantly cute even though I'm going out and being a casual guy. If I don't wanna be, <laughs> if I don't wanna be extra, I just throw on my pastel color blocked sneakers. <laughs> Nothing screams casual more than color blocked pastel colors. I don't know, I'm just a very extra person, so something like this to me is very uh, subdued. And then the final thing that I bought from Why Are You are these bad boys. You will have seen these already in my letting my followers pick my outfits for a week. I actually received these on the day that I did a My Little Pony look, and I was like, ooh, gots to wear them, which is why the bottoms are a little dirty, but these are beautiful. This style of shoe is actually so comfortable to walk in. I think the biggest thing with like platform shoes is not that they're like uncomfortable or hard to walk in, it's just you have to get used to how heavy they are on your foot. It's kind of like weight training, but I got some big beefy legs, so it's fine by me. So they have the like why are you why sort of logo right here. It's in this kind of pastel lime green and then there's an outlining of it in a nice yellow we have an orange color block here in the back there's pink and a lilac pastel purple color we have a chunk of blue another chunk of pink another chunk of yellow the tongue is green the laces are pink it's kind of a high top shoe and then the platform has this adorable rainbow. It goes pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, and the heel is purple, so in the back it goes full rainbow. I don't know what to tell you about these. They're amazing. 
They're adorable. I love a good platform to just make you look A, taller, but B, like at least 20% cooler. My Little Pony reference. Those are the three things that I bought from YRU. Again, I think these shoes not on sale were 160 or something like that. And then I got this entire order for just about that price or less. 100 to 160 for all three of those shoes. So watch for the deals when it comes to YRU. Buy directly from their website because I don't think other websites do deals as much on YRU shoes than their own dang website. The next thing that I got is from Sugar Thrills, which is a Dolls Kill brand. In a previous video, I said that anytime I mentioned Dolls Kill, I would direct my viewers to a previous video I made on some of their controversies. It'll be here, somewhere, in the corner, so you can check that out and make your own informed buying decision. I decided not to cancel them myself. I don't buy into cancel culture, I have decided to give them the benefit of the doubt for now with my eye closely on them, which is why if I happen to find something that I really enjoy, I will purchase it from Doll's Kill. And today I have this pair of Sugar Thrills. It's more platforms, I don't know what to tell you about it. Like I'm an average lady height, I think that this, the average female height in at least the US is like 5'4", five, 5'5", five, five, which is exactly where I am. I might be in between those two heights, but all of my best friends are above 5'7". I always forget how tall Alex is because she's always wearing boots with heels on them. I think she's 5'9". She could possibly be 5'7", and I'm just used to seeing her way taller because of boots, but Monica and Lindsay are both like six feet, so it's just like I always look like a midget compared to them, even though I'm normal. <laughs> I'm normal. Look at this. See how normal it is? Oh, and my husband is 6'4", so why do I surround myself with so many tall people? Anyway, so I like to do platforms to just give myself a little bit extra height. And also, these were giving me such 90s vibes. Like look, they're platforms and they're jellies. I don't know what else to tell you about them. My little 90s heart was just filled when I saw them. But I held off because I like to pretend that I have some self-restraint. And then they sold out and I wept but then they came back in stock and my resolve was completely gone. So I bought this. The other one's still in its little bag here. Um, I could take it out, but it looks like this one, but you know, mirrored. I don't know if I'm gonna keep these. It's kind of a lot of money for what they are because in theory, I love jellies. I love the way that they look. They give me such 90s nostalgia but in practice, jellies are the sweatiest thing ever invented for your feet. It's just a plastic cage of sweat for your feet. So we'll see if I decide to keep these, but basically we have a platform here with all of these beautiful glittery heart applique. And then on the top here, we have this pink glitter jelly. And then the buckle on the side is also a heart. And you know my favorite shape is hearts, and you know my favorite color is pink. So I was weak and I purchased these, and I don't know if I'm gonna keep them. Let me know in the comments if you think I should keep them. But my poor wallet is um, weeping at me, so. Cute. <laughs> And my final shoe, I am absolutely keeping because along with YRU, Demonia is one of my favorite brands of shoe. You can purchase these guys off of Pleaser Shoes. Oh, I can't hold both of these at the same time. We're just gonna talk about one of them. What a platform, how unexpected. We have this large white platform, really like chunky, kind of cleat almost detail at the bottom here. And then we have a little ankle booty that's just this amazing iridescent kind of cotton candy kind of galaxy coloring. 
it kind of just gradients from like blue to purple to pink. It's just good colors. These are clearly, I mean, my hair is faded now, but clearly these are my favorite colors. And it's iridescent and shiny. And I don't have any blue shoes. Like all the rest of my boots are like either pink or black. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna be different and I'm gonna get a blue shoe that has some pink on it. I'm predictable, I'm, I apologize for being predictable, but look, give me like a hint of galaxy, give me a platform heel, give me some iridescence, and I'm all the way in. So they have a zip closure so that you can get in and out really easily. They have this little tie detail on the front and some buckles on the side. So like just as many different closures as you can possibly have for a single shoe. You wanna, you wanna unbuckle it, do that. You wanna tie it, do that. You wanna zip it, go for it. Bop it, twist it, pass it, let's go. These ones are definitely lighter than my other demonias, but they're still like, you know, they're platforms, so they're heavy. It's a little hard to like hold both of these guys up at the same time. Like my left hand is, is weak and gonna like drop this one, but um, these are baller and I love them. One thing that you probably can't tell from pictures is just how wide the front of this is. Um, let me show you in comparison to these wire U's. Like these ones taper off at the toe and this one is just, this one's just a wide old clown toe right there. So these look a little like clunkier and chunkier. If you want something that just like elongates the leg and just makes you look really like slim and long, like this guy is not, this is not the stubby boy for you. But if you don't mind a little chonk to your beautiful iridescent boots, like this is, this is your boy. And that's all we got for you. <laughs> that's all. Just several hundred dollars worth of shoes. Okay, just like a really chill, like small haul, only like $500 spent, no big deal. But yeah, that is, uh, that's it. <laughs> just uh, six really adorable, really amazing, sort of expensive shoes. Let me know what your favorite pair of shoes are that I bought today. Let me know if I should keep those ones from Sugar Thrills. And that's it. Don't forget to like it, subscribe it, share it, bop it, twist it, pass it, and don't ask questions, just go with it.